Danielle Verguli, aka Catch Me Outside Girl, nudes are leaked online. So I want to start off by saying Danielle just turned 14. I know she looks like she could be 18, but she's not. Yeah, she was just 13 a few months ago. So because of her age, if her nudes were leaked, whoever is in possession of these photos and is spreading them around online can get in huge trouble with the law. Because technically, this is child pornography. But once word got around that these pictures were out there, Danielle shut it down real quick. She posted this statement to her Instagram. I am just say this once. That is not me. My nails are curved, not straight, and anyone can change their display name and settings. Ain't that stupid. Danielle's done some really strange things during her time in the spotlight, and she takes pride in it. So I think that if this were her, then she would own up to it. So it's looking like the pics might not be of her after all, which is a relief. It's bad enough when an adult's nudes are leaked online. I couldn't even imagine how bad this would be for a 14 year old, especially someone like Danielle who's in the spotlight. No one should have to go through that, but especially not a 14 year old. Hello everyone and welcome back on this beautiful Friday, I'm Court McGinley. And TGIF we made it to the weekend. Let me know what you guys have planned this weekend down in those comments. Tomorrow is my bridal shower that my bridesmaids planned for me so I'm super excited for that. If you guys want to see pictures of that and follow along with everything leading up to my wedding then make sure you follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley, it's, it's down there somewhere. As always we have a bunch of interesting stories headed your way so without further ado let's get started. Next, Taylor Swift is counter suing for just one dollar in her sexual assault case. A few days ago Landon told you guys about the sexual assault case. Taylor filed against David Mueller, who was a former radio DJ. Yesterday was day three of the trial. David is suing Swift because he alleges that he was fired from his job after she claimed he lifted her skirt and grabbed her butt while they were taking a picture. The incident was not made public until he filed a suit against Swift. The radio station he worked for was given evidence of the incident immediately after it happened, so they fired him. Swift then filed a countersuit a month later for sexual assault and battery. David is seeking three million in damages from Swift, whereas Swift is seeking one dollar in damages. Images. That's um that's a pretty strange amount. About this, Taylor's attorney said she's not looking to bankrupt this man. She's just trying to tell people out there that you can say no when someone puts their hands on you. Grabbing a woman's rear end is assault and it's always wrong. Any woman, rich, poor, famous or not, is entitled to have that not happen. If Swift happens to be awarded more than what she's asking for, she's going to donate it to women's rights charity. Next, Kylie Jenner is on track to have a one billion dollar beauty brand by 2022. Since first launching her company last year in 2016. Just 18 months ago, she's already made 420 million in retail sales. That's extremely impressive. If things keep up this way, it's expected Kylie Cosmetics will be a billion dollar business in just five years' time. Back on August 1st, Kylie actually made 10 million dollars in just one day with the launch of her birthday collection. However, her biggest sales day was on November 21st, which is when Kylie released her holiday collection, which brought in over 18.9 million dollars. I know a lot of people dislike Kylie and her sisters and say that they're stupid and that there's no real reason they're famous. But the youngest sister is obviously pretty business savvy. Kylie also wants to own her own stores. About this she said, I don't know how but we're going to do it. But I think it's time people walk into a store and see Kylie Cosmetics. I do want that but we haven't figured out exactly how we're going to do that and what approach we're going to take. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever ordered any of Kylie's products and what you think of them. Next. Hundreds of pizzas were let loose in a highway trailer truck accident. As inconvenient as this is for the company, this is pretty much everyone's dream. Free pizza for all. So pretty much how this happened was a tractor trailer hit the wall of Interstate 30. No people were injured, however, some of the pizzas, they didn't make it. Rest in peace DiGiorno and Tombstone brand pepperoni pizzas. If you were hoping to get a free pizza out of this, I'm sad to tell you this is not an option. The pizzas have been run over many times and have diesel fuel on them. Now sadly, some of the supermarkets out there aren't going to be getting their frozen pizza shipment because it's all spread out on the highway. Ah, 2017, you're just full of weird surprises. Next, speaking of delicious snacks, Starbucks has come out with a new seasonal frappe. It's called the horchata, and it's said to be the perfect summer to fall transition drink. The horchata almond milk frappe is made of blending almond milk, cinnamon, dolce syrup, coffee and ice together and then topping it with whipped cream, a caramel swirl and cinnamon sugar sprinkles. This drink is now available in stores. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in getting one. Next, Patriots have become the first NFL franchise to buy a team plane. The defending champions now own two body wide jets. It's estimated the cost of these two planes were around 10 million dollars. However, charter costs are expected to be around 4 million and that's only for 10 round trips. And on top of the scheduled games there are also preseason games. So yeah, that's a lot of money that they're going to have to pay out just for transportation alone. But the team can also cover some of the costs if they rent the planes out when they aren't using them. There is a huge upside 
side though. Travel is a huge hassle for all professional athletes, so this probably helps ease the burden a little bit. And this way they can form a stronger team bond since they'll be spending a lot more time together. And it's that time of the week where I let you know what super cool awesome movies are hitting the box office this weekend. And we have Annabelle Creation, The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature, and The Glass Castle. Let's start off with Annabelle Creation. I'm seeing this movie tonight and I can't wait. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. This movie is rated 14A and it's a horror movie. In this movie we follow the doll maker and his wife who several years after the tragic death of their little girl welcome a nun and several girls from a shuttered orphanage into their home. They soon become the target of the doll maker's possessed creation, Annabelle. Take a look. You're the moon starter, aren't you? Can you help me? What do you need? Next, we have The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature. This movie is rated PG and is an animation family movie. In this movie, you'll hear the voices of Will Arnett, Katherine Heigl, Maya Rudolph, and Jackie Chan, among others. In this movie, Surly Squirrel and the gang are back. We are once again in Oakton, where the evil mayor has decided to bulldoze Liberty Park and build a dangerous amusement park in its place. Surly and his ragtag group of animal friends band together to save their home, defeat the mayor, and take back their park. Here's a peek. Mangy little rodents. Go get him, boys! Remember your training! You had training? We just oh! have The Glass Castle. This movie is rated 14A and it's a drama. This movie has a really intimate cast of Woody Harrelson, Naomi Watts, Brie Larson, and Max Greenfield. This movie is based off a New York Times bestselling memoir. The Glass Castle follows the triumphant account of author Janet Walls, unconventional upbringing, overcoming a difficult childhood with her dysfunctional family of nomads whose ideals and stubborn unconformity were both their curse and their salvation. And there we have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.